Normally, the banking system does not lend to highly capital intensive projects in industry or to infrastructure and so on, like, you know, to roads, uh, to Kingfisher Airlines, you know. But banks never used to do this before, before well, at least uh, the 1990s, but definitely, in fact, before, not even before 2002, 2003. The difficulty is when you actually begin to use a public banking system, to try and use credit, both from the side of financing investments, that so, you know, you, you want uh, growth in a new area, supposedly telecommunications, simultaneously you want to make money for the budget by selling spectrum. So what do you do? You tell the banks you lend to the telecommunication companies to buy spectrum at incredible prices, which we know that so long as competition is there in the telecommunication sector, they would never be able to repay. So, in essence, what you're saying is that banks which have short-term funds, which people expect to be highly liquid, because I want to go to a bank and take back my money if I need it, hmm. should not be lending to completely illiquid Ill areas. That should be left to the, to the development finance institutions, like the, IC, what, like the IDBI, the IFCI, <laughs> the ICICI, where, or it should be left to the bond market. You close down the, the development financial institutions, you're forcing the public banks to do this, and so you are caught in a situation where, you know, industrialists who got used to getting free money virtually because they didn't expect to pay them till Raghuram Rajan said, no, you better go and get it back and take them to the, you know, to the company law tribunal. Oh, and they, you, you wanted, you said that this is important because how do I make my investment? If I don't make my investment because I don't have money, I don't use own capital, I use other people's money. Yeah. And if I don't make the investment, growth will not occur. And Arundhati Bhattacharya said that, listen, I've, I've burnt my fingers. I can't keep lending money to projects and people who don't uh, repay the money. So that's exactly the same thing when you try and use finance as an instrument to drive public, private investment and, 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 and private consumption and housing investments as a means to growth.